Good morning. So, I made the phone call yesterday and they didn't have any phone appointments um, over the weekend, so I'm waiting for the doctor to call me back right now for a phone appointment for this morning. Sure. Um, they wanted me to go into urgent care and I told them no, I'd rather have a phone appointment. Hopefully the doctor that calls me back will be understanding and accept um, what I have to say and not make me go in and go through a whole bunch of tests because I already know what this is and I just want to get my medication and get it over with. Yep. So, we're waiting for a phone call. In the meantime, uh, it's Monday, which means let, getting trash together for tomorrow. So, I'll be doing that and laundry. This is what I usually do on Mondays. Is, is that pretty dull stuff. So I'll be putting laundry Stuff away. Stuff that I should be doing, but I have such a lovely husband that when I don't feel good, he does it all for me. Yeah. So I if thank I, him. If I get to the front yard, I'll let you guys know. I'll bring you with me, but watching me put fold laundry, you've already seen that. Don't want to make you go through that again. So, yeah, I've already um, cleaned the kitchen. Uh, the front room had to be mopped. Um because of our lovely animals that have decided that it was okay to... Well, it was pouring rain the other day and they don't go outside when it rains. So we're gonna Angel to... was trained to go on pee pee pads back on the East Coast because she didn't learn how to go downstairs and she didn't go outside in the snow. So she was trained to go on pee pee pads. And um, she sometimes misses. <laughs> And I sometimes forget to put them down, and then see this goes wherever. But Freckles has been doing it now. Yeah, because Freckles sees her doing it, so she, he thinks, oh, okay, it's okay to go in the house now. So. Yeah. So when we get some money, I'm, we're going to have to put down, uh, get some gates for the, there's two openings into the uh, um, front room. And uh, so that they're not end up peeing all over our uh, new wood floor when I finally get to put that down. Val's working on a Halloween another witch. witch. Yeah. Pretty nice. So that's going to be our day. Uh, I may get out to the store today. Uh, I don't know if I am. Um, I'm going to be mostly in the house doing laundry and, and uh, taking care of me. Taking care of Val. We'll have to decide on what we're going to do for lunch because everything Val eats goes right through me. Yeah, it makes her nauseous and then I guess goes right through her. So. Uh, so, beautiful day outside. It is. I hear the birds. I love listening to the birds. Mm -hmm. I love it when it rains. I love listening to. We had some thunder though. We don't usually get thunder around here. We yeah. had some thunder. So that was pretty cool. So, uh, I'm going to have Kevin put in a, one of our movies for me. And if we're feeling up to it, I keep saying this, we have a movie we would like to review. And if we're feeling up to it, we'll do it. But I've been basically waiting for Val to uh, feel better. I can do it. I just... I know you can. But, you know. I mean, we're so stuck in what we can do. The cast has made it impossible for me to do anything well. And Val has been too sick to do anything, so I just do stuff. Well, let me tell you what I decided to do today. Um, in the garage, it just always seems to be everything ends up in this garage. So, uh, let me show you the stuff that's in here that I'm going to move out. These are doors to the closets upstairs. So, I'm just going to take them upstairs. And I brought them down here to paint, but... You know what, I can paint them up there as easily as I can down here. And uh, just having them out of the way would be great. And the same goes for all this trim. Some of it, I pulled it down because it was actually outside and getting wet. But I'll have to find some place for it upstairs. These bricks are for the hearth in the front room. So that's where they're going. They're going to go up into the front room along with these. Give me less stuff to uh, trip over. 
I sold this finally, but I have to deliver it and I'm not going to try to do it until I'm out of my cast. I still have stuff that I'm trying to sell like this beautiful carved regulator clock that no one seems to want. And um, maybe break down some of these boxes, give myself some more room. Here's the, the, the uh, manure fertilizer that I bought for the lawn that I'm not going to get to today. But uh, as soon as I do, then this stuff will be out of the way and gone. So, that's what I'm doing. So I'm climbing the stairs about 42 times. And uh, I don't know if that's good for my back or not, but that'll be something at least. And it gets me out into this beautiful day. It's in the 70s. Got a nice cool breeze. The uh, birds all are hanging out with their babies. You can hear the babies like crazy out here. It's because of this rain, I guess it's uh, really brought the nature back to life. But, uh, and I'm keeping an eye on Val. And she's got a phone call into the doctor. They're supposed to call her back uh, and we'll see what goes from there. If they're going to insist that she goes to urgent care, and I'm going to have to take her to urgent care because if they're not going to get her the medication for her C. diff, then we'll have to figure out a way to do it. So, that's the story today. Um, I do have some abdominal pain. Um, it's been running probably about a, a five, six. So guys, I just had my phone appointment with the doctor and I explained everything to him and how I'm feeling. And it's just as I said, the doctor agrees with me. It sounds like C. diff and he's not going to make me come in for testing and everything like that. Um, so he's calling me in the antibiotic that I need for to treat C. diff and Kevin's going to go and pick it up. So um, he said if I get much worse with the pain or if the flagell doesn't seem to take care of it, then I do need to be seen. Yeah, well you will see a doctor on... Right, Wednesday, Wednesday I go to my kidney doctor because I still think I have kidney stones too. Um, so some of the pain I am feeling is probably from the kidney stones. But um, he says it definitely does sound like C. diff. Okay, so I will run out right now and get her her medication and uh, put everything that I'm doing on hold. You're welcome. All right, so I'm on my way to the pharmacy, which is, which is great. So we we were pretty sure we were going to get it because there's really no reason for us to come in and waste hours in urgent care and be treated the way we are. So I'm gonna send it to the closest pharmacy here. It shouldn't be too far away. I've had more energy today than I usually do. So I'm getting some stuff done. I'm, I'm mostly clearing the garage right now. But, uh, so, because I didn't want to be out front with the valve sick. I wanted to be closer. So I will run to the, to the pharmacy, get her medication, and get that going. Doctor agreed as well that it was uh, probably C. diff. And this will probably be her fourth time that she's had it. The first time that she had it, she was uh, hospitalized. And I had to fight with the doctor. I mean, I had a big old argument on the phone because he insisted that she had the flu, which she did not have the flu. She had, she had no temperature. But uh, I ended up calling him up and I said, you're not taking this very seriously. And she's dehydrating. And uh, he got real loud and said, well, what do you want to do? you want to hospitalize her? I said, about at this time, since you guys don't seem to be taking it very seriously, I want her in the hospital. She needs fluids. And so we got her in the hospital, and within a day, they had their diagnosis. She was, uh, she had C. diff. And they were able to treat it. It's, it's 
it's actually pretty easy to treat. It, what it is is difficult to uh, identify because you have to. Um, uh, it has to be a stool sample that you test. It doesn't show up in the blood. It doesn't show up in urine. It, it shows up in the stool sample. And um, so, and normally they will. If we go to uh, urgent care, she will be given a kit to test for it and sent home without anything. That's what we had the last couple of times. And then we usually just got annoyed because I don't know how long it's going to take for them to make their decision. And uh, so we ended up calling our doctor and saying, listen, we think she has C. diff. Please give us the uh, medication for C. diff. He said, okay. And he just throws it in. Um, it's really crazy what they do. Um, when she first had the C. diff, nobody knew what it was. I remember uh, reading articles about it and it was uh, one of those things that were was killing a lot of people because the doctors were not looking for it. They don't know what they're looking for. And uh, they go through their standard protocols of, uh, you know, blood test and urine analysis. And if those come back negative, they, they're done. They're not going to look any further. They're simply going to say that um, it's all in your head, which is what we continuously heard for Val. So, but being a human resource person that I was, uh, and having to deal with um, the uh, insurance companies, um, I was not going to take that. I was going to take no for an answer. And, and since I was the human resource guy, um, I had I could throw my weight around a little. I was able to uh, to uh, call up my uh, contacts on the inside, put pressure. It's the only way I got uh, my wife treated. All right, so it's. Time to say goodnight. I got Val's medication. It's a little different than what we usually get, so uh, we'll see how this works out. Uh, she's in, she's asleep now. She's in bed. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to yet, but I got more done than I expected, actually, so that's a good thing. Uh, I hope you like something here. This one's actually a little long. It's kind of strange, but uh, if there's something here you like, please give us a, a thumbs up. Make sure you share. Make a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.